For 20 years, those charged with the air defense of Great Britain heeded the frequent call to scramble, which meant another Soviet intruder high above the North Sea. Invariably, it was the Russian bear, but the only shooting was the whir of intelligence cameras. But when the call to scramble went up earlier this week, the welcoming committee was a friendly one as the bear was invited to land for the first time after thousands of visits in the past 30 years. A man with a particular interest in flying machines Russian is Jane's aviation expert, Paul Beaver. Well, high above the North Sea, a Tornado F3 from 43 Squadron met this Bear H strategic bomber. Piloting the Bear was Major General Anatoly Solovyev, the long-range aviation deputy commander in Russia. He's a veteran of 17 years of probing the UK air defence region. And although the West calls this Tukulev bomber the Bear, the Russians know it as the Tu-95MS. And there's its rear gunner. Here, approaching Fairford's 11,000-foot runway, General Solovyev reported there was no tension on the flight deck, just excitement. And those main wheels, by the way, are five feet in diameter. The Bear had flown for nearly five hours from an airbase just outside Moscow, but it could have stayed in the air for another 11 hours, even without flight refueling. graceful touchdown from a graceful aeroplane. And here's the welcoming committee. And here's the rear gunner. Well, this is the first time that Westerners have been allowed on board an aircraft which, for 40 years, intelligence has been spending time and probably millions of pounds trying to look at the inside of. And here we are aboard the Bear. Hello, nice to see you. How are you? Thank you. Thank you. Behind this bulkhead, there is room for six cruise missiles. Well, Major, could you just take me through the controls? Well, Major, Major Govalinko was explaining that this 188-ton bear has conventionally boosted flight controls. For the pilot, there's an autopilot in the center, and for his normal position as the co-pilot. He said it was a reasonably conventional aircraft to fly. Let me give you the BBC. And here's an exchange of badges of special significance. BBC just happens to be the initials of the Russian Air Force. 